Hello friends, welcome back to day 4 of our 100 day challenge. Today we are going to deep dive into version control system. So the thing is, in this video, we are going to unlock the secret of version control and trust me, it's the backbone of every successful software project. Whether you are a seasoned developer looking to sharpen your skills or a beginner who is eager to learn, this video is having something for you. We will start by simplifying key concepts related to version control like what a code base really is and how merging and branching work and what pull request and merge request mean in the world of version control. If you ever wondered about the difference between the centralized and distributed version control, yes, we have covered that in this video. By the end of this video, you will be able to choose the right tool for your projects with confidence. So if you are ready to level up your coding game, streamline your collaboration process and ensure your code base stays in tip top shape, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and let's dive right away. Now let's understand what is version control. So version control is a system that tracks the changes to the code which we have done over the time. It also allows us to revert to the previous version of the code whenever we need it or in any rollback situation. It also helps us to compare changes what we have done from the previous version. And also there is a good feature about version control that it helps us to collaborate with other team members who is working on the same project. So this is how we can define version control. Now let's understand why version control is important. So version control is important for many reasons. First reason is it has the ability to revert to previous version of the code. This is actually one of the most important benefit of version control. If you make a mistake, you can easily revert to the previous version of the code. This can save you a lot of time and frustration. Next benefit we are having that it has the ability to compare changes. Okay, so version control systems allow us to compare changes to the code over the time. This can helpful for debugging, understand the history of the code and also it helps us to identify areas that we need to improve. Now let's talk about third benefit. It has the ability to collaborate with other team members on who is working on the same project. So version control system makes it easy to collaborate with others on the same project. You can share your code with others and they can easily merge their changes into your code and this can help to improve the efficiency and the productivity between the team. Now let's talk about the fourth benefit of version control as it is having the ability to track the history of the code. So version control system track the history of the code so you can see what changes have been made and when. So this can be helpful for many things like understanding the evolution of your code, debugging and identifying potential problems. So it is very beneficial. Now let's talk about the fifth benefit that is it is having the ability to find and fix bugs more easily. So version control system can help you to find and fix bugs by comparing changes to the code. You can identify the changes that introduce the bugs and also it can make it much easier to fix the bugs as well. Let's talk about the sixth benefit. It is having the ability to improve the quality of your code. As you know that version control can track the changes, collaborate with others and find and fix the bugs. So it can help us to have a more reliable and maintainable code base. Now it's time to understand how many types of version control systems available for us. So mainly there are two types of version control system, centralized and distributed. So let's talk about them one by one. Now let's talk about centralized version control system. So in centralized version control system, there is a central server that stores the entire code base and its history. So developers can check out to the copies of the files from this central repository to work on them and after completion they can check in. Example it includes SVN and Perforce. So there are uh, so so example of centralized version control systems are subversion known as SVN and Perforce. These are the two centralized version control systems we are having. There are many others but primarily these are the popular ones. But there, uh, 
If we talk about the benefits of centralized version control systems, this makes it easy to share the files with others, but there is a problem as well because it can also be a bottleneck if repository is slow or unavailable. So that's why we can't rely much on centralized version control system, but it's depend on case to case basis when you need to use centralized version control system and when you need to use distributed version control system. Now let's talk about distributed version control system. So in distributed version control system, every developer has a complete copy of the entire code base and its history on their local machine. So this allows for more flexible branching and merging. We will understand branching and merging next, but uh, for the timing, just understand that it this allow for more flexible branching and merging as well as the ability to work offline. So you can work uh, offline with this type of version control system. So the benefit of this version control system is this makes it more efficient for developers to work on the same project as they can work offline, but it can also make it more difficult to manage conflicts. So you need to be very diligent about synchronizing changes with other team members. Now let's talk about the very important part of this video. Here we will talk about the very important concepts of version control system. So first concept we are having version control system itself. So in short, version control system is a software tool that helps to manage changes to a code base. What is code base? Code base is an entire code what we are using for our software development. Next concept is repository. In short, we know this concept as a repo as well. A repository is a centralized location where all the versions of a project and its history are stored. So mainly we are having two types of repository. One is local repository that is stored on your machine itself. And we are having another type that is remote repository that is actually hosted on a server like GitHub. So this is very important concept. Next concept is commit. A commit represent a set of changes that we do in our code base. So each commit has a unique identifier and we can say typically it includes a commit message which explains the changes. Now let's understand branching. So branching actually allows developer to work on isolated features or fixes without affecting the main code base. So it's like a, you just have a copy of uh, your main code where you make the changes once you, so you can use this branching concept to for debugging, for modifying your code or adding any new feature. So the main branch contains the stable code, but you can work parallelly on the branching code. Next concept we are having merging. So actually merging combines changes from one branch into another. Normally what happens as we discussed, we use branching code for modifying like new changes or we can say for debugging. Once we complete that thing, then we want to merge that changes in our main code base. So for easy understanding, merging actually helps us to synchronize the code from branching to the main code base. Now let's talk about another concept that that is pull request or we can say merge request. So actually pull request and merge request are same concept, but they are named differently depending on the version control platform you are using. So if you are using Git and GitHub, then it is called a pull request where developers create a pull request to propose changes from one branch to another. Typically we do it from a feature branch to the main branch. If you are using GitLab or other version control platform, it called a merge request and the process is the same developer request a review and the merging of the changes into another branch. So ideally it is same, but uh, depending on the version control system, we name it differently. Now it's time to discuss about popular version control system we are having. So first we are having Git. So Git is the most widely used distributed version control system. It's known for its speed, flexibility, and strong branching and merging capabilities. So popular platforms like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket use Git as their underlying version control system. Next we are having GitHub. GitHub is a web-based platform, which is built on top of Git only. And it's provide hosting for Git repositories. So it offers collaboration features such as pull request, issue tracking, and project nodes. Next tool we are having. GitLab. 
GitLab is another web-based platform which is similar to GitHub only, but it offers Git repository hosting and DevOps capabilities. So it can be self-hosted or it can be cloud service as well. Next tool we are having Bitbucket. Bitbucket is a Git and Mercurial repository hosting service. It provides code collaboration and continuous integration features. Next tool we are having Subversion. It's a centralized version control system as we already discussed about distributed and centralized version control system. Subversion is actually old and less popular than Git. It is still used in some organization due to their dependency. Next tool we are having Mercurial. Mercurial is a distributed version control system which is similar to Git only. It's known for its simplicity and easy of use. The last tool from the list we are having Perforce. Perforce is a centralized version control system which is actually used in large scale game development and other industries. So these are the popular tools we are having in the list. As you know, version control is a foundational skill for any developer and and mastering these concepts and tools will greatly enhance your ability to work effectively on any software project where you require to collaborate with others and manage code changes effectively. So guys, that's it in this video. In this video, we have talked about version control system, its benefit, important concept and popular version control tools. I hope now you understood what exactly the the version control system is and what are the types of version control system and what are the tools we are having so join me on day five where we will talk about different concept related to devops that will definitely going to help you to become expert in devops at cloud so until then keep exploring learning and transforming your world with the magic of devops and cloud see you in next video and then bye bye